on today's Tech Help for Churches, using a teleprompter for a video podcast. Hi, and welcome again to Tech Help for Churches. Each week we talk about using the internet, especially new media and social media, for your church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I've talked before about outlining your show notes to prepare for your podcast, but there's another way that's arguably much better. You could use a teleprompter. A teleprompter shows a mirrored image that's reflected off a piece of glass in front of your camera's lens. So you're reading while looking directly at your audience. Now, maybe you won't use a teleprompter during church, but that doesn't mean you wouldn't want to use one for video podcasts or other videos that your church might put out. Imagine that your pastor does a weekly podcast where he shares some of his thoughts on what he's studying and other ministry-related topics. Instead of following an outline and winging it, he could have a script that he follows which is guaranteed to hit the points he wants to hit. Perhaps you do an announcement video. Instead of having the host try and memorize key points, use a teleprompter to make sure she gets it right first, the first time, every time. Okay, maybe not the first time, but with fewer takes than no memorization. Your kid's pastor could record weekly videos telling parents what the kids are learning when they're at church and not have to depend on his memory about what the key point is and what scripture it comes from. These are really just a few ideas. Really, the list could go on and on. As counterintuitive as it might seem, using a teleprompter can also help the person on screen to connect with the audience and come across as more genuine than if they don't use one. When someone looks in your eye and tells you what they're thinking without looking at notes, doesn't it feel more genuine? Now, in television news, it doesn't work that way because the anchors don't necessarily write the stories that they read. But in church, the person talking probably would. So they'd be reading their own words, not the words someone else wrote. So I'm going to encourage you to have whoever writes the script to do so in an informal, conversational way. Like it's from a friend, not like it's been vetted by the legal team or scrutinized by PR. There's something about writing, too. It helps you get your thoughts out there and helps you clarify them. When something's written, it's more easily edited, so long-winded explanations are minimized. It gets rid of the temptation to take every tangent and bunny trail to see where it leads. You're not going to forget the point of a story if it's right there in front of you. It helps you with another advantage, too. Since Google isn't good at indexing audio and video yet. You don't have to pay to get your videos transcribed for maximum SEO or to help with accessibility. You'll probably want show notes for your podcast too, right? Well, you've got a script that's a near-perfect transcript because it's the source of the words that are said on the video. You might be thinking, so is this thing is probably pretty expensive, right? Nope. You can buy a teleprompter app like Prompt Smart Pro for your iOS device for about 15 bucks. Here's something cool about this particular app. It listens to the person talking and automatically advances text so a second operator isn't necessary. The hardware isn't expensive either. It can be bought on Amazon for as little as $45. Or you could even build one yourself. Basically, we're talking about a piece of glass held at a 45-degree angle to a base that the screen sits on. I built one 
from a picture frame I bought at Hobby Lobby, a piece of plywood and a couple of hinges. Total cost, uh, maybe 30 bucks. It could be even less than that if you have other stuff around the house. So uh, what's it like watching someone use a teleprompter? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? You see, I've been reading off one this whole time you've been watching the video. Now, I admit, I'm not the best there ever was at this. But I think I'm doing a pretty good job, given that this is the second video I've done from one in recent memory. Look at the show notes to see my words for yourself. Maybe now you know you want to turn on the closed captions if you're watching on YouTube to see how well I've followed along the script. I've made some mistakes. You see, for me, I tend to either take long pauses or use filler words like um or yeah or you know when I'm thinking or trying to remember what it, where I'm going. Because I took a little extra time to write all this down beforehand, I didn't have to. So hopefully using a, pro a teleprompter will make my videos flow better. It will make my thoughts come out because I don't have to struggle to remember that word that for some reason will not leave my brain and exit my mouth. At least that's what I'm hoping. I don't want my delivery to stand in the way of the teaching I'm trying to do. So that's why I'm using a teleprompter. We'll see if it helps me get the content out more, too. Because, uh, to tell you the truth, the part I hate the most is writing show notes. And because I wrote a script, I'm done with them right now. If you like this show, stop by my site, trinitydigitalmedia.com. There's tons more like it there, and while you're there, you can subscribe to my newsletter and get exclusive content that's only available to my subscribers. Do that just by putting a slash newsletter at the end of trinitydigitalmedia.com. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity. Hey, go ahead and do me a solid and subscribe and click the little bell icon. You know, while you're here and all. Starting soon, I'm going to be doing some contests that only the people that watch these videos with within 24 hours can participate in. Okay, now the show notes are done.